What's up everyone, my name is Jesse, this is the Auditorium, I react to video game music as a musician myself. Today is a debut, Metal Slug 2, Living on the Deck, requested by Torn Hire. I only have two requests for this game, and both are from this requester. This was randomly drawn, so congratulations. Takeuchi Hiyamura, 1998 Neo Geo. What were you doing in 1998? Were you even around? I've heard... Um, I never played Metal Slug, but I've always heard the name. I'm not sure if I'm confusing it with another one, but I, I feel like this is a game that was like in arcades. I could be confusing it with Contra as well. I'm not sure. I always, I have no idea. All I know is I never played it. Anyways, Metal Slug 2. I know this is a popular game. I know that for sure. Let's go. What an intro. <laughs> God. That sound chip. Oh, what the hell? There's like jazz chords on this. This is the last thing I was expecting out of this game. Huh? <laughs> that synth bass is going so crazy. <laughs> And yet there's still jazz chords on the left side. I'm not gonna lie. Hold on. It's supposed to be an electric guitar sound. I'm not gonna lie, seeing this, hearing that, this looks like the most fun you could ever have. <laughs> I'm gonna go under the limb and say something here. After it's over. Damn, these guys cannot catch a break. I think it's loop? I don't know. I'm just having fun. Kind of saxophone sounding? Is that a timer at the top? Because it's moving like every 10 seconds. Dude! Completely unexpected. Out of nowhere. That was so much to take in in three minutes. Both visually, like the visuals were a bonus. I usually don't get visuals. 
just the visuals looked great. Like that was that looked fun as hell on a moving train or locomotive shooting everything in sight. With the cool background of the forest, man, that was sick. And the filter over it, oh man. Um, I don't know what to say. Let me collect myself. Um, <clears throat> I think first, I would like to know if I've done anything else from this composer. Who are they and what, a, I mean, I see their name, but like, who are they and what else did they do with their life? Because I don't know. How do, how do I explain this? Like, okay. So in my mind, Metal Slug is an arcade game. That I don't know. It's just a guess. Clearly here it's a console game, so it's either been ported or maybe I'm... Con I don't know what I'm confusing it with, but a lot of games looked like this back in the day. In arcade cabs. A lot. So, which makes me think, if this was an, an, indeed an arcade game, would you ever even be able to hear that? You know what I mean? Like, you would hear... If... If it's an arcade, you would hear kids screaming, tickets, other games, pounding, all the, just all these things. You wouldn't even hear like the, and plus not to mention the sound effects of the game. There's so much going on there. I'm sure the trains making noise, the people, the bullets, explosions. I feel like, I just can't help but feel like this is like an underrated gem that's like hidden inside somewhere. And it wasn't until consoles that maybe people heard it more. That is my guess. But from what I think Metal Slug is, I'm pretty sure it's an arcade game. But let me know. Anyways. <laughs> Which, the reason I'm saying that is because it's such a travesty to think that you would never hear these otherwise. With everything going on. Um, well, obviously. Dude, that was like super impressive. That was... Super impressive. Like, the time switches, the chords, the synth bass, the electric guitars, emulated MIDI, the jazzy stuff, the saxophone type of stuff, the fact that there was, like, jazz chords on the left side only, um, the drums. <laughs> that was super, super unexpected and great. Not only was it great, but it sounded fantastic. Like... Everything just was mixed so well. Like, I feel like, in, well, I guess in this case, Neo Geo, right? Yeah, I feel like in this case, the Neo Geo was pushed to its limits, both visually and audio. I couldn't, I couldn't help but feel the whole time I was watching and hearing this, like, this looks so... This, this must have been so impressive for its time. In each in each capacity, I could only imagine me. I would have I would have been a kid here, in grade school still. So I can imagine the like euphoria of, of experiencing that in 1998. I mean, I'm already gushing over it in 2023. I think this is just one of those videos, and one of those songs where it's okay not to have much to say. I think we can all agree that that was sick as hell. <laughs> Just impressive. Um, raised a lot of questions. It made me want to play it, that's for sure. It looks kind of difficult, but I kind of like that. Um, I don't know what to say. Takushi Hiyamura. I don't know. That was sick. And I only have one more request for this game. I don't know if you know if it's two. I think it might just be regular Metal Slug. I don't know. I feel like this comment section is going to be a gold mine of comments. So just people reliving it. Them being there or telling me that I live under a rock or something. But... 
I, I can safely say that Metal Slug live up, lives up to years of hearing this name. That was sick. I don't know why it's called Living on the Deck. Does, I, well, I'm assuming this goes with the stage, unless that music was just totally random. and this, Or the footage was random and they just picked something. I don't know. You guys tell me. That was dope. Damn, that was dope. That was great. <laughs> so big thank you to Torin and everyone else that you see on screen. I would not be here without them. Thanks to you for watching. My name is Jesse in the auditorium. Gush about Metal Slug. I am here to listen. Take it easy, everybody. Have a good night.